in any good relationship any relationship three things are a must must for it to work well we have to accept the person's past good or bad everybody is a package deal they come with the good the bad the ugly you can't just nitpick the good and reject the bad you can't because it comes along it comes along aspects of their nature comes along their past comes along their there's a lot of baggage that everybody brings into a relationship past baggage sometimes it's from past relationships sometimes it's from past trauma sometimes it's from past abuse sometimes it's from past lack of confidence sometimes it's from past wounds that are not healed you know and therefore in any relationship out of the three requirements one essential requirement is to accept the past and when you accept the past then naturally the second thing comes up which is to support the present the past is jeopardizing the present the past is affecting the present you've accepted the past but if you do nothing about it the present is jeopardized if there's a girl who brings into a boy's life a trauma from a past relationship or if there's a guy who brings into the girl's life a trauma from the past relationship they are carrying it with them they are vibrating at that energy at that frequency you may accept it but if you don't deal with it we do nothing about it how is it changing how are things getting any better right things are not going to get better because they're still carrying that a lot so acceptance of the past is important accept the past but support the present and what do you mean by supporting the present do what is necessary to heal sometimes it just means being there sometimes it means tolerating n tantrums a lot of times the tantrums are not them tantrums is their unhealed past a lot of reactions for people are not necessarily who they are a lot of times people's reactions are unhealed wounds from the past so i may have accepted it but do i even support it in that entire journey of a good relationship it's very important to support the present which is to be there sometimes just handle it not be judgmental not get irritated and frustrated it's natural when somebody brings a past along with them and it's 20 times rubbing on you you're going to get irritated you're going to get frustrated which is why good relationships need a bit of empathy and tolerance too yes we may snap out we may snap off once in a while and samne wala also understands that but being empathetic tolerant and this is again true for both sides i'm not saying one or the other it's all sides good relationship means always both sides so accept the past support the present and the third aspect is encourage the future when you accept the past and you support the present is when you actually encourage a bright future for that relationship you know and it's important for us to allow the person to fly allow the person to believe us if they want to true love true love is concerned about the well-being of the person whom we love and if we are truly concerned about the well-being of that person sometimes we just have to allow that allow them to fly encourage the future if that future is with us fantastic but if both realize the future is not together you've truly done the best for someone whom you love you've accepted their past and supported their present and made them ready for the future would be a blessing if the future is together but if it's not together wherever that future is together for someone no problem isn't it